It's been more than a century since man was the dominant force on the battlefield. Where victory was once achieved through the brute strength of a bayonet charge, wars are now won by ever more sophisticated machines. How much longer the human element remains, and with it concepts like honor and glory, can only be guessed at. It could be that in the future, there'll be no more need for pilots like a man who fought a war with courage but without hate pilots like Yellow 13. Within the first few weeks of the Yuzian Continental War, Yellow 13 had already earned his status as a living legend within the Yeruzian Air Force. The flight leader of the 156th Tactical Fighter Wing Aquila, famously known as Yellow Squadron, Yellow 13 was often cited as being almost solely responsible for clearing the skies over San Salvacion and driving the Allied Air Forces off the continent. While such claims have been embellished by his admirers, Yellow 13 was unquestionably one of the most talented and formidable fighter pilots ever to have seen action. Even compared to the members of his elite squadron, Yellow 13 distinguished himself with almost superhuman skill. When the Independent State Allied Forces, or ISAF, launched a surprise attack on the Stonehenge turret network, Yellow 13, with just four other wingmen, shot down 24 ISAF veterans, ending the attack before it could even begin. It is something of an irony, then, that despite his almost unmatched skill in aerial warfare, Yellow 13 found no joy in his kills, nor was he motivated by his nation's cause. Instead, he prided himself on never having lost a wingman. As the war seemed to be coming to a close, Yellow 13 spent his downtime playing guitar in a bar frequented by Erusian soldiers. Here, he developed a quiet friendship with a young boy, who often accompanied him on the harmonica. When the tide of the war began to turn, news of major ISAF victories in the East reached Yellow 13. Above all, he was impressed with the actions of an enemy pilot, known as Mobius I. While often surrounded by an air of melancholy, the chance to face a rival who might challenge the limits of his skill in a dogfight seemed to lift his spirits. He openly praised the accomplishments of Mobius I and longed to face him on the battlefield. As ISAF counteroffensives retook territory across the continent, pilots were rotated out of Yellow Squadron to shore up other air wings. Yellow 13 and Yellow 4 were soon the only pilots to consistently remain with the squadron. Yellow 4 was perhaps 13's only true friend, his wingman in the air, and his constant companion and protector on the ground. When Yellow Squadron and Mobius 1 finally met in the skies over Stonehenge, Yellow 4 was shot down. Despite his first defeat and personal loss, Yellow 13 commended the actions of Mobius 1, now undoubtedly his true equal. In one final bid to reclaim air superiority over their besieged capital of Farbanti, Yellow 13 and his squadron were scrambled, but in a tragedy of timing, arrived over the city just as Arusian ground forces surrendered. Yellow squadron engaged ISAF forces, and Yellow 13 got his wish of facing Mobius 1. Yellow 13's body vanished into the blue skies, never to return to Earth. Only a handkerchief that had belonged to his fallen wingman fluttered down from where he disappeared. It was buried in an unmarked makeshift grave, though whether it was 4's or 13's no longer mattered. If Yellow 13 found unexpected joy in the final moments of his life, engaging an opponent that pushed his skills to the limit, those who knew him best, or perhaps only the man who shot him down, can say for certain. Or maybe Yellow 13 was truly nothing more than a call sign, and the man beneath it still lives, satisfied, for now, in his defeat. The conflict over Stonehenge was not the first time a pilot whose plane bore yellow markings found honor in a senseless war, and perhaps he might be seen again.
Attention pilots, the Templin Institute will be scrambling our aircraft tomorrow, January 18th, as we take to the skies in Ace Combat 7. Catch all the action on our Twitch channel. You'll find the link in the description.